Hi there, in today's video we are going to talk about the four main aerodynamic forces that act on your aircraft when you are flying. You will understand what are these forces and what happens to them when you accelerate, decelerate, climb or descend. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. V1, rotate. The first very important aerodynamic force is the lift. The lift is the upward force that is produced by the air that is flowing around your wing. So there is a pressure and there is a negative pressure around the wing caused by the airflow that flies around it and this produces the upward force called lift. As long as you have enough lift, the aircraft will fly. The second important aerodynamic force is the weight. The weight is the force that is actually opposite to the lift and is caused by the mass of your aircraft and this force is always pointing towards the center of the earth. The higher the mass, the higher the weight of the aircraft, the bigger will be this force. So when the lift and the weight, they are in equilibrium, they are equal the aircraft is flying in a straight and level flight. Another very important aerodynamic force that is acting on your aircraft is the thrust. The thrust is the forward force that keep your aircraft flying through the air and usually this force is produced by your engine. You use and you modify this force by increasing or decreasing the thrust. but not the least important force is the drag. The drag is opposite to the thrust and the drag is basically that force that makes your movement through the air more difficult and the drag is actually produced by the shape of your aircraft. You can think in order to understand what is the drag is basically the uh, force that opposes the movement of the aircraft through the air caused by the friction between, for example, the fuselage, the wings and the air. In order to understand drag, think about this. When you walk in a normal day, you are, your body is moving through a fluid, in this case through a gas, which is the air. Because the air is less dense, you feel some drag, however, not that much. But what happens when you walk into the water? You will feel that the walking is going to be more difficult. Why? It's because you, since you're not walking through the air, but you're walking through a liquid, okay, through a fluid, okay, in this case the water, your body is creating with a fluid more drag. So the drag is actually the force that makes your movement through the air more difficult. So guys, what it is very important to understand is that when these forces are in equilibrium, the aircraft flies in a straight level flight. The aircraft energy is managed through these four forces. If the lift equals weight, the aircraft flies in a straight level flight. That means that it doesn't climb and it doesn't descend. If the thrust equals the drag, that means that the aircraft doesn't accelerate or decelerate. But as soon as you change these forces by moving your yoke, by increasing the thrust with the throttle or decreasing the power, you change these forces and this will change the energy of your aircraft. So if you pitch up your trying to increase the lift. If the, incre the lift increases, becomes bigger than the weight, the aircraft starts to climb. The opposite is also true. If the, if the lift is decreased, the weight will be bigger, so the aircraft will start to descend. And if you increase, you apply more power, let's say you're flying 200 knots, you apply more power, by applying more power, the thrust will increase, will be bigger than the drag in that specific point, okay? And because the thrust is bigger than the drag in that point the aircraft will start to accelerate and the opposite is also true if you reduce the thrust the power the thrust vector will be smaller thus the drag will be bigger initially and what happens is that the aircraft will start to decelerate so guys i hope you now understand these four aerodynamic forces that are acting on your aircraft when you're flying and what happens when you change these forces by moving the yoke or the power setting so if you have any questions leave a comment below and i will help you out i wish you a great day and i'll see you on the next one Thank you.